Hi guys, I'm back with another Mini Kit Monday layout process video. This one is called I Miss You Both. And this is a picture of my mom and my sister's uh, dog that passed away. And her name was Mia. And I wanted to make this layout for my sister. This is uh, actually for my second to youngest sister, uh, Diane. I haven't made any layouts for her. And when I saw this on her Facebook post, I just really wanted to scrapbook this photograph for her. And I really liked the sentiment that it said and especially it being so close to my mom. Passing anniversary, I think it's been like five months. So it's I know it's been five months since on the sixth, it's been five months. And so things are still pretty raw for my brothers and sisters and so I really wanted to do something nice for her and I figured that this would be a uh, something nice for her you know um, I was talking to her on the phone when we were when I was scrapping and um, I told her what I was doing and she wanted to see some of the process um, and then she didn't after a while because she wanted it to be a surprise so I was uh doing the layout and I am using my mini kit Monday to do this layout and at first the color scheme seemed a bit daunting I think because I wanted to make this extra special I felt like I needed to use other types of specialty paper or maybe not this color scheme because it's so bright and colorful and the feeling that we're going through right now isn't it, it's not matching but the sentiment that I wanted to convey was a happy one and so I still went ahead um, against my initial feelings uh, and went ahead and used this paper anyway and I love the end result of the layout. I am using several of the pieces that I did pull out from my mini kit Monday including that floral piece that's to the left that was in that little zippered pouch of a mini of a Heidi Swap ephemera and I am trying to make this photograph a little bit even and I'm sorry that it goes in and out I did have like an hour and a half of footage but mainly it was me waving my arms around because I was talking to my sister <laughs> so I am using the soft spoken flag set and it says thinking of you I believe these are more centered towards um card fronts or card embellishments because there was three of them and it was in a repeating um, I think they were repeating elements or I could have sworn they were they were maybe different sentiments and even a couple of different patterns but it was along the same lines and um, I decided to use it here so that I finished that package and I am putting some of this ephemera from Heidi Swap. they were clear transparencies and I put them on white paper as well as that uh, daisy flower that you see on the top right hand corner that's a sticker by Chamel uh, clear sticker by the way from the sticker book that she has this uh, black scallop that you see me adhering here underneath the photograph is the actual mm, it's like the barcode strip but it's to the six by six paper that the teal uh, arrow type paper behind the photograph it came attached to so here I'm trying to figure out what I should put uh, either on the top right hand corner to make a cluster or and then I decide that I don't want it there I decide that I want it on the bottom right hand side near the photograph at the end this was kind of a little bit I was very hesitant with where I was going to put embellishments because of the fact that I wanted to make it look nice and I think there was just this added pressure and once I decided that it was still going to be a nice page and that the sentiment and the emotion was still going to be there uh, that's when all the kind of apprehension went away Apprehension? Is that a word? <laughs> I think it is. At least it's the one I think I'm trying to use. Um, all the nervousness went away about wanting to use these type of embellishments and um, I was able to move on with the uh, page and the embellishing. I did find this uh, cream colored photograph or photograph, what am I trying to say? Camera from Acorn Avenue from Crate Paper. It's a chipboard piece and I really was okay with using it even though a lot of my embellishments are white because the background paper, pattern paper from Vicki Booten, it kind of has this distressed look and it also has a lot of, um, 
the, the paper is not really white it's kind of a cream based as well so I don't mind I didn't mind mixing the white background and cream colored embellishments I did have several words on this layout um, let me grab it here I um, have this one that says such a beautiful moment and I was trying to put another sticker word sticker up on the top left of the embellishments and I do end up finding some things I just I did audition a lot of stuff in there like here you see me using another one of those word strips from Heidi Swap they are from the Hawthorne collection and that is part of my mini kit Monday kit so here you see that I am pointing out to this bit right here and it's because I'm trying to fit something there I end up deciding that I needed a bit more purple to bring in to kind of make all of these embellishments cohesive on this page especially uh the hearts are kind of um they feel uh like mixed media on the pattern paper and they're not exactly a bright pink and they kind of have different tones and so i thought it would be okay to lend uh creative freedom to bring in these hawthorne elements which have a deeper they have deeper richer pinks and almost purple colors to them and so I played on the purple and brought in the Chamel letter stickers which are I rarely use letter stickers this tiny like the square ones especially I decided to bring in the date of when this picture was taken and instead of putting it on the top left I decided to bring it down um, I kind of think it's fitting that I put it next to the camera too because then it emphasizes the fact that this photo was taken during that time. I decide that I also put this floral next to the camera because I still felt like it felt kind of empty in that cluster. And here you see me looking around for some more things to put. This one says remember but then I and it's orangey and so I bring in another one that I find and it's more of that pinky purplish type with gold, like a matte gold foil that says memories. And I like that a lot better. And I also try to audition this orange heart clear sticker, <laughs> but it doesn't end up going on my page. Uh, let's see here. I also try to bring in this tiny little heart and just decided that I wasn't going to do that. I already have a little heart charm and I think that's why I was trying to bring in more hearts, but it didn't end up going. So one of the few elements that you don't see is that I do bring in some more of the floral chipboards from uh, Acorn Avenue uh, into the clusters and you'll see those in photographs and close-ups. Don't forget to check out the other ladies in the Mini Kit Monday group. We have Becky, Tracy, Dolly, Kathy, Leslie, and Shannon. And also don't forget to check out our Facebook page. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!